Hello and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Courtney and in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about how to play a singing bowl. This was a requested video and I thought it would be super beneficial to talk about with you guys because I use my singing bowl so much. I like to do sound healing to myself. I love to clear the energy in my apartment, in my surroundings, and most importantly, I love to cleanse my crystals with the sound vibrations. I'm excited to share my tips on how to play a singing bowl and really how you can use your singing bowl in your daily life. So without further ado, let's dive into today's video. So Tibetan singing bowls have been used for centuries. They are metal bowls and they really range in size. You can find a Tibetan singing bowl that's super small and you could find ones that are so, so, so big and they all have their own unique sound. Singing bowls are known for breaking up stagnant energy in the air and bringing it back to a neutral state. One can use a singing bowl to clear and cleanse their own energy, their environment, and also objects like crystals. I personally was introduced to a singing bowl by a friend and right when she started playing, when it was singing, it was like this feeling I had. It was like something woken up something got woken up inside me and I was like obsessed with it. Whenever I went to her house, I wanted to play the singing bowl. I was like, hey, where's the singing bowl? Let's play the singing bowl. And not too shortly after I like discovered a singing bowl, I was gifted my very own singing bowl on my birthday last year. And ever since then, honestly, I've been playing my singing bowl like every day. I will say I am not an expert, but I would love to share with you some tips on how to play the singing bowl and also just some easy ways to incorporate it into your life. So let's get into how to play a singing bowl. So first thing, when you have your bowl, you're going to notice that it comes with a wooden mallet. So usually the mallet will have like a duller side or a side that's wrapped in like suede. And this is the side that's going to touch the bowl. The polished side is going to be where your hand goes. When you have your bowl in your hand, it's really important that your palm is flat like this. You don't want to curl your fingers on the bowl because it's gonna disrupt the, vib the vibration that the bowl creates. So you wanna make sure your fingers are going straight out and your palms are flat. Before I play my singing bowl, I always like to take a moment to just be really present. I like to take a deep breath and just be with my bowl before I start playing it. So let's go ahead and do just like a basic ding of a sound bowl. See, like that just sounds so good. This simple sound, this simple ding is literally breaking up the energy in the air and bringing it back to a neutral state. Something I like to practice is just dinging this to kind of like collect myself to find my center. I might do a couple dings in between breathing, you know, like it just, feels really good. You can do this also like this simple technique. If you want to clear the energy in each room in your home, you can just do simple little dings inside each room to kind of get the energy at a good state. All right. So now let's make the singing bowl sing. What we're going to do is we're going to do that simple ding again, and then we're going to take our mallet and we're just going to go on the outside of the bowl kind of catching like the tail end of that sound going around the rim. And I'm going to keep, you're going to keep your wrist straight and strong. You don't really want to move your wrist like this. You want to have it be really firm. See how my wrist is like firm <laughs> and it'll start singing. Another little tip for you guys out there, cause it can be kind of tricky to make the bowl sing your first couple times. If you're holding your mallet at an angle at the bowl, I'll insert a close up to really show you what I mean. It's going to help produce that sound like pretty quickly. If you're holding it like this, going around it like this, see how the mallet is straight. 
it's not really gonna make the sound correctly. If you're holding it at an angle, like this, you're gonna be able to produce that sound a lot easier. Now, it can take a couple tries to make your singing bowl sing, so don't give up. I know it definitely took me a few times to really get it to sing. Um, hopefully that tip helps you out with producing that beautiful noise that comes from the bowl. But once your bowl is singing, you can really experiment with how your bowl is connecting with you. You know, as you're playing, you can experiment with, you know, going faster, going slower. You really want to apply like an even amount of pressure to the bowl. You don't want to be really pushing hard. You just want to lightly be pressing against the bowl. And just see how you feel while you're playing, you know? Sometimes I can make my bowl play so loud. It's really fun to just experiment. And see like what happens. <laughs> You can really use your bowl however often you'd like. I personally love to play my singing bowl before I do a ritual. It kind of just like gets me ready for, you know, whatever I'm gonna do. <laughs> um, I also really love to do those dings right when I wake up. You know, I'll do a couple dings just to start my day, to recenter my energy, get me ready to go for the day. Um, when it's like a new moon, I love to clean my apartment like crazy on a new moon because I'm ready for that fresh new energy. So I'll clean my apartment, get everything all sparkly and clean, and then I'll play my singing bowl in each room. So I'll just literally ding it and play this in each room. And I'll just walk around my apartment for like maybe like five minutes and go in each room and just clear the energy. I'm just clearing the energy in my apartment to make way for that new energy to come in. If you want to cleanse objects like crystals, you can definitely use your bowl and just simply play your bowl in front of your crystals. Um, you can do this with crystals that are on shelves in front of you. Um, you can do this with crystal jewelry. Um, I do recommend though not putting the crystals inside the bowl. Just simply having them in front of the bowl and playing in front of them is going to cleanse them. So a question you might be wondering is how long should I play my singing bowl? I know for me, whenever I play my singing bowl, I just have this feeling inside as to when I should stop. It's like I just have this inner knowing that the energy feels good, it's been cleared, it's been cleansed, and I just simply stop playing. Um, if I had to put like an actual number to it, I would say like when you're in each room or you're cleansing your crystals, I would play it for at least a minute but really you can play for as long as you want. You could play for a whole hour if you wanted to. It's really just up to you and how you feel. And that my friends is how you play a singing bowl. I hope this video was informative for you. I hope you learned something new. Um, if you just got a singing bowl, I'm really excited for you to start playing with your singing bowl. I know it's so much fun when you first get one. It's like this feeling that you feel when you're playing. So I'm really excited for you on your singing bowl sound healing journey. <laughs> if you liked this video, let me know by giving it a big thumbs up. If you are new here, I would love it if you subscribed. Come on and check out some of my other videos. Thank you so much for hanging out and I will see you in my next one.